Just how old is Cappadocia? Due to the immense age of many of the locations we so often cover here upon our channel, we are also, in turn, often confronted with an array of defense strategies, effective distraction techniques, which continue to allow that which cannot be explained to be simply and quietly brushed under the proverbial rug of modern understandings. Many institutes are funded too and work in cahoots toward a common goal. The preservation of a status quo, which not only stifles logical historical pursuits, but are controlled by institutions who bury anything which could jeopardize their current monopoly over the many areas of human life and interaction. When it comes to concealing the true age of many of the planet's oldest ruins, it often falls to the geology departments to simply declare the most weathered of relics as merely that of geological formations. And if there is any ancient settlement on Earth which would have fit this bill, it's Cappadocia. An entire ancient settlement, so old that all of its surface structures have nearly eroded back to nature. However, although these remarkably old and incredibly heavily eroded surviving spires would have almost certainly been overlooked, dismissed as geological, Cappadocia, fortunately, has a labyrinth beneath its streets. An entire underground city, once somehow masterfully hewn from the bedrocks of Earth, rumored to have been lit by small candles fed by natural gas pockets found deep underground. It is, regardless, an incredible legacy of a past, highly capable civilization. And although we have extensively covered the ancient underground city of Derinkuyu, along with its as yet unexplained multi-ton rolling doors, not only how they were made and then placed in passages, but indeed how they were rolled when in use, as they are of such tremendous weights. However, what many people are unaware of, quite possibly due to the difficulty modern academia has in explaining their existence, is that there lies many more underground layers and labyrinths all across Cappadocia, thankfully meaning that the sole surviving spires on the surface have not withstood the sands of time in vain, for they now stand as signposts to this incredible, baffling, and simply enormous ancient mega-metropolis all carved from the solid rock beneath Cappadocia. As mentioned, many of you will now be aware of Derenkuyu, an underground city whose legend tells of it having once been a sanctuary for ancient people who endured an ice age, possibly making the site far older than 10,000 years. However, what many of you may have not been aware of is the other remarkable underground city of Kaimakli which secretly stretches across below the grounds of this ancient ruin. Many of the passageways carved untold millennia ago are still used to this day as storage areas, stables, and cellars. The underground city at Kaimakli differs from Derinkuyu in terms of its structure and layout. The tunnels are lower, narrower, and more steeply inclined. Cappadocia appears in some areas as one of the most heavily eroded sites on Earth yet it is fortunately still attributed to its true original identity, that of an ancient ruin. And thanks to the miles of still unexplored caverns below this incredibly ancient site, its dismissal as geological in the future seems very unlikely. It is a place which we find highly compelling.